up here alone, first descent in Greenland, Year of the Dragon Expeditions. Greetings from the bottom of the earth. <laughs> 82 degrees north, right on top of the globe. I gotta pinch myself. Here we are, back in Antarctica. We'll see you soon. I'm gonna go climb one of these walls right over here. I'm gonna climb fast, get home. Can't wait to see you. I miss you and I love you more than I could ever explain. My sweet dear daughter, Liliana. I just want you to know I miss you and I love you and I'll see you soon. Hold up, come on. Hold up, go, come on. You stay. <laughs> Get back there. Go on. Alright. Daddy daughter shake you. <laughs> this is the daddy daughter sign, by the way. W for win. Win. That's right. Always win. She's getting old enough to realize, wow, my dad is not normal. So I've just completed over 50 expeditions. My next goal is 50 more expeditions, so 100 expeditions by the time I'm 100 years old. I sort of have a double life. I have a life of expeditions and exploration and climbing, but then there's another side. I'm a father. You know, when I'm home, I'm a full-time dad. I coached her soccer team for five years. I volunteer in her classroom. I'm, I'm a dedicated father. I even won Father of the Year Award at her school. Hey, come on. Come on, good girl. I love animals. Beak, beak, beak. I mean, I have 11 animals beak, here. Beak, beak, beak. That's our pet piggle. He's not for eating. He's for, he's a part of our family. They're just joy. They're my life. They're part of my family. One of my goals, I want to open an animal sanctuary. Maybe when I'm too old and broken to do these expeditions, open a huge sanctuary and say, any animals come, you're welcome to my family. That's her bark. <laughs> she thinks he's a dog sometimes. I really wanted to share this information with my daughter. She sees all of the photos and videos and stories of, you know, hanging out with all these different cultures. You know, I record all of these trips. I'm talking to her when I'm talking to the camera. I'm speaking to her and wanting to tell her and show her what's going on out there. We're out here going for it. Optimism is ruling, of course. Just shivered out the night like a cartoon character chattering my teeth, just uh. Can't wait to see you when I get home. Less than two weeks. It's really interesting because she's saying, hey, I want to travel. I want to see these things. And it's both exciting and scary at the same time. I mean, she's 10 years old now, and she's saying, Dad, I want to go to Antarctica. And I'm like, let's do it. Saying, I want to train. I want to know what to do. I want to know what to expect. I want to know everything I can to go to Antarctica and go skiing. Remember, that's the rule. Don't get scared until I get scared. If I'm scared, you should probably be scared. There. Stand up on my leg. Go ahead. I'm teaching her about avalanche safety, about loose rock as you're climbing. And you know, she's starting to push the edges of her potential, both mentally and physically, and starting to learn about what it's like to go on expeditions. And you know, every time we go out skiing or hiking or climbing, not only do I learn a ton just about life, she's learning a lot about life. I feel absolutely, completely blown out of the water, fortunate and lucky to have this lifestyle, but mostly just to be a father. She wants to go to Antarctica, and we're gonna go there on a sailboat and go skiing for 30 days and go on her first major expedition. 